All right, so I, I don't know if I can say this name. Harid? Harid? Okay. Let's see what's going on here. So I want to have an all around analysis and your opinion. What uh, want to know what about strong and weak sides of my work and portfolio? What is missing? Which works are the best and which are the worst overall quality? of the work. Do you think I need to remove any items? If so, which ones? Okay. So lighting artist. Oh, cool. Istanbul. Awesome. Awesome. So if I, I'm just going to click all. Oh, wait, let me see early studies. So these are considered early studies. So small village hidden inside the woods. He, so I'm the bonus ninth guy, huh? <laughs> it is you. <laughs> so you're going to remove these three. Let me, let me look at them before you <laughs> don't do it. No. Uh, I mean, these aren't bad. Oh, I like this. Big Z, it is the last one. Yes, it is. Okay, so lighting and level design. So relighting, level art, level art, breakdown. So, oh my gosh, there's some UE4. Oh, what the heck? Okay, my brain just for a split second thought that UE5 was out. or U5, whatever you want to, I would change the branding to just match with the logo and then try to not let the text clip on there. Let's see here. So when you do, when you're doing a relighting for me, I'm always curious. I mean, this looks really nice. I'm always curious what it looked like before. Like I know the scene, But yeah, I've always been curious what it looked like before um, the relighting. Yeah, I would just use this. I mean, everyone's going to know what it is, right? You could just remove the text. And then um, the the background shape to the text here. You could probably just have it go all the way across maybe. Or just put like a bit of a shadow behind the text. I don't know. All of your scenes seem to be relatively uh, lit, so they don't really need like a. It doesn't. I don't know if they need a backplate or not. Ah, oh, Timothy. Just a quick shout out to that guy. If you if you don't know him, Timothy Dries, check out his. Uh, he's got some great content. He does a lot of teaching stuff. Lots of learning. Okay, let's um I mean your lighting looks pretty good. There's there's a lot of cases where I'm seeing stuff is really blurry or the contrast is really high. Let me look at this. Wait, what? What am I what what? What am I looking at here? Is this a shot? I'm very confused. Because this almost looks like a concept. Man, that's so interesting looking. Yeah, so you remove that. 
Yeah, that's crazy. And these characters, they're just their position in a way where it doesn't re- they don't really stick out as like are the what's happening here? <laughs> what's this one? So one thing you're noticing is I'm just kind of clicking around. Oh, that's cool. You grab the uh Leah's uh cave Merlin cave scene. Oh my gosh. Dude, what the hell? So your lighting is really good. <laughs> oh, dude. It just feels it feels nice. It's very natural feeling. Let's see what this I love that you're um referencing other people. You if you can, you should see how much you can shorten the text cuz then this will this won't be like minimized like this. Oh, dude, this is cool, man. Cuz you're just doing the lighting here, right? Yeah. I like that you're showing your mood inspiration shots as well. Uh, oh, this is that bug. What's going on here? There you go. Yeah. I would say maybe this one is getting a little blurry. Man, this is some cool. Is this just the stuff from um what should we call it, isn't it? Oh, dude, you're using DaVinci Resolve for color grading as well? Dude. So I... What? I don't have much to say, man. Um, I would say that your thumbnails maybe are detracting from the quality of the content once you click on it. I don't even know if you have to put these here since they go down here anyways. And like I would remove the, the text from these and just kind of go with go with what you're showing. Man, there's some mood going on. Let's see here. Yeah, I think if you could if you could remove a lot of, anywhere where you have text where it's already supplied, like I already know that that's the name of the scene. I know your name. I know that it's unreal because you told me over here, you know. Let the art just sing for you. Or lighting in this case. And then if you can shorten the text in any way so that you can show the links without having to read more that would be that would be good um yeah i don't i don't think you need to remove anything just update your thumbnails like this shot is really cool, but like, dude, if this shot was, was here, that could be, that could be crazy. You might actually get more clicks just by using this one. Cause people are going to be like, what the hell? Is that a photo? What is
so now that I'm now that I'm looking at all of this work, there is some variety in the lighting scenarios that you're displaying. Like if you could do I would love to see a level art pass where you take a scene like this, right? Um and convert it to a snowy season so that you show some level art skills if you want to do level more level art. And then um, also do like a snowstorm as well as like sunny or like the cold night with a clear, like crisp air. Like capturing the atmosphere is also something I feel like is almost in the lighting artist's role as well in combination with the effects artists and like getting the stuff that's floating around. Um, but yeah, dude, like this shot, that alone, without this on there, because this logo actually makes it feel like Unreal Engine, but older. It's like the old logo. So it makes me think that this is older for some reason, which makes me maybe not want to click on it. Um, I think, I don't even know if you need the the relighting, lighting, and level art on these. I know that I'm in the lighting and level art, and then if I mouse over this, you could say it in here. You could say uh, relighting or relighting steady, Merlin. Yeah, I think let the thumbnails get people to click on it and just make sure the title says exactly what they're looking at. They're looking at a relit scene of Merlin, the Merlin cave in UE4 and they'll see it when they mouse over it. So you're good. Is there any other questions before, before we end this one? Or am I just gonna get some dance on at the end of your your portfolio review? Nope. All right. So it's just me dancing then. <laughs> um. Okay. So how do planes stay up? They flap their wings really hard. Really hard. And her eyes, they have like such a low refresh rate that in the speed of the flapping, we think they're still, but they're actually just going like crazy, you know? But uh, yeah, let me. Um... Is there a, I'll, I'll read that after the video, hang on. <laughs> 